Hey, welcome back everybody. This episode we're going to be talking about the layout editor and that is what you're looking at right here. So if you want to figure out how to find this piece, you need to open an XML file. So inside of our project over here on the left, you can expand app and then go into res and then layout and then open activity underscore main dot XML. Now this is an XML file. Now if you've ever seen XML before, it's a markup language and you're probably thinking it doesn't look like this, this looks like a user interface. Well what this layout editor does is it actually will show us the visual of what the XML will look like. So if you want to see what the actual XML is, there's this little button down here at the bottom that says text. So this is what uh, XML actually looks like. And yeah, it's kind of ugly. I don't really like XML, but it, it serves its purpose. It's basically a way to structurally lay out an application. And this is the, the default XML. And as we modify our activity or our page, this XML will be updated with new content. So you can see in here, one of the items in here is this text view. And that actually refers to this hello world little text section right here. So inside of our activity, I'm sorry, you can go back by clicking design. Inside of our activity, you can take this, you can drag it around, and you, you can change different attributes of this thing over here on the right. And that is all going to be represented inside of the XML. So if I can give you a little bit more space, you can see it has this 464 here. Uh, if we go back to the design, drag it around a little bit maybe, go back to the text, and you can see that changes as well as this one here as well. So the position of the text is, is put inside of the XML, and we just get this nice visual of what it looks like. And as we change this, you can see different things uh, appear on, on the, the text view XML. And you can see if we get it perfectly in the middle, you can see one of the, the things disappears. Um, so if we pull it off to the side, you can see the horizontal bias is there, but if we put it right in the middle, it goes away. So the default is right in the middle there. So if we want to get rid of the vertical, we can put that right in the middle as well. Maybe if I can get it. Mm, there we go. Perfect. So you can see if we get it right in the middle, those go away because they default to putting it right in the middle. So that's a little bit on how the XML works. But now let's take a little bit more at some of the other pieces of this. So at the top we have this toolbar and you can see we have two sections. We have this blue section and this white section. You can change that by clicking this button right here. And this is known as the design surface. So you can select this and you can choose design. You can choose blueprint or you can choose both of them. So I recommend to go with both of them, but if you prefer one over the other or you have a small screen and you just want to focus on one of them, you can select that there. The other things you can do is you can change the orientation of your phone. So what it looks like, um, whether it's wide or tall, portrait or landscape, you can change the phone to view it on. So we could go to the Pixel 3a if we want to see the shape of the, the same as the emulator we downloaded. And yeah, that, those are the, the key things that you should know about on here. Other than that, you can see over here we have this palette. This allows us to take things, different components, and put them on our page so we can add buttons, for example. And we also have this component tree which describes the structure. And then we have attributes on the right which allow us to change things about the the component we're working with. So these components are actually called views and we're going to talk about that more in detail in the next video but for now just know that each one of these components we put on the screen is known as a view. So that is the introduction to the the layout and if you want more information there is some good documentation. Here's an introduction to the layout editor. You can see all of the different pieces and where they are. And I'm sure you can read this if you uh, if you want, or you can just continue in the series because we're going to be going over all of this information. So hopefully that was helpful just as a basics to get you started. The main thing you need to know is that these things are called views. Each of the views have attributes or things to describe them. We can configure those there. And all of these configurations are actually stored in text in an XML format 
but and you can see that by clicking the text tab down at the bottom. So hopefully that gets you started. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go in a little bit more detail with these views and as well as layouts. So be sure to check that out and I'll see you then.